In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your WebGL compatible Unity project directly from Unity to a playable game on the web so you can share it with the world. Luckily for WebGL compatible projects, it's very easy to get a playable version of your Unity game running online. So let's take a look at how we can create a build of our game and then share it with friends and family to play. As you can see, I'm using the Karting Micro Game, which is a free ready-made kart racing game designed to help beginners get started with Unity, which are also WebGL compatible. You can see the link in the description for more information on how to get started. I have made a few modifications to my liking, and now I want to share my game online. In order to share my game directly to the web from Unity, I'm going to need the share WebGL package to be installed. Now all Unity packages can be found in the package manager, so let's go to the window menu and open up the package manager. In here, let's use the search field to quickly find our package. If we type in the word web, we will be able to see the share WebGL game package, so let's select it and press install. After the installation is complete, we can exit the package manager. Now before we share our game, we need to build it once. Creating a build of our project is an easy way to saying you had Unity compiled the desired scenes from your game into a file that can be played on your desired platform. In our case, the platform we'll build for is of course WebGL. So let's go to the file menu and enter build settings. And then let's pick WebGL from the platform field. Now, if you cannot see a build button or the build and run option is grayed out for you like it is for me here, it's because we have to switch the platform mode in Unity to WebGL so we can build for this platform. So let's just press switch platform, which will unlock the option we need. Now let's press build and pick a location for our game files to be located and simply let Unity build our game for a bit. All right, so Unity just finished building my game and I'm ready to share this online. So let's go ahead and close down the build settings window and then go to the window menu and this time open the share WebGL game window. In here, let's make sure we are signed in and then simply enter a catchy name for your game. I'm saying simply, but actually coming up with a clever name is hard on its own. So, but you don't have to worry about it because you can always come back and edit the name later. And speaking of which, if you don't have a thumbnail for your game yet, that's also okay because you'll be able to add it once your game is online. But if you do have a thumbnail now, you can go ahead and add it as well. Finally, we'll click share and let Unity take care of the sharing process for us. Now, the first time you do this, it could take several minutes, but once it's completed, we'll be prompted that the upload is ready with a link to play your game on the web right here. And this link is the one we can share with everyone who would like to play our game. And to those who don't want to play our game, we just don't need that kind of negativity in our lives. So let's click the link and try our game out. It says I unlocked a new asset to add to my game. This is a new feature we have added exclusively for some versions of Unity micro games. For now though, I just want to play my game, so I'll click not now. And as you can see, your game has its own web page where people can like it, leave comments, and there's a bunch of awesome features for you as a creator too, like submitting your micro game to beginner friendly challenges. And if your game racks up enough plays, it could be featured in the trending section of the micro games discovery page. So make sure you grab your URL and share it away. So I'm gonna go ahead and play my game. And as you can see, because I'm using a web browser that supports video recording like Chrome, another feature for me as a creator is this video clip feature, which captures my gameplay. And it also took a snapshot while I was playing and set it as my game's thumbnail. But if you uploaded a custom thumbnail, don't worry because it won't override it. So what if we wanna spice things up a little bit and make some changes to our game? Well, for instance, I'm going to swap my cart for the new one that I just unlocked. I am fast forwarding through the cart asset import process, but there's a link in the description below if you need instructions on how to do that. Fortunately, the WebGL sharing process is the same for when we have an update to our game. So after we make our changes, we just need to rebuild our game and then go to the window menu once again and enter the share WebGL game window. 
In here, let's just click share once again and play our updated game through the same link. So let's click play and try out the new card. And that is pretty much it for this video. So make sure you let us know in the comment section what kind of game you're making right now and which micro game you're using. You can also enter our micro game challenges and follow mods on Unity Learn to keep customizing your game. More information on that is available through the links in the description box of this video. And on that, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the comment section.